Hi, I'm Jakira Black and I'm doing some unboxing today. Um, I've got three subscription boxes. I've got my Fairy Loot box and I've got two Leafa boxes. Um, and I've got this, which I'm not sure exactly who it's from. It says Hatchet. And I've been waiting to do this. So let's open this. Oh, that came open easily. Right, so get this off. And want to see what this is. So yeah, it's a book and it's um or it's um a book from a Goodreads um thingy um giveaway. Um it's called The Taste of Blue Lie. Um, when I entered it, it said that it was on my reading list. And then afterwards, I was like, why was that on my reading list? Um, I don't know, but it's a really, really nice book. And I've heard that it is a really good read. It says, there are things Lux knows. She is an artist. She is lucky. She is broken. There are things she doesn't know. What happened over the summer? Why she ended up in hospital? Why her dreams are drenched in blood? Desperate to uncover the truth, Lux must search her herself for the answers before the colours sweep further into her mind and swallows all that's left of her. So actually, this, I know why I went for this, because I do actually quite like psychological um, stories. This sounds like that. I mean, I really liked um, Female of the Species. I, this is obviously not like that, because that was different um but it's like obviously no it's it sounds interesting to me and it's a lovely lovely cover book color book i really i mean i just go for covers and this is lovely it's got like the flowers on and the blue is extra is shiny and yeah okay so get rid of that next up is um, one of the Leafa boxes. I've already opened it, um, the sticker thing, so that I can. What's it? This is the fantasy box for January. That's what it comes as. Um, this is my second um, lot of Leafa boxes from them. Um, I have recorded a video. Um, but I've still not uploaded it because I did it on my phone and my phone keeps dying and I don't really need to upload it but let's look see what we've got here so it comes wrapped in paper so let's put this here look, so first up I see there's a bar of Ritter Sports chocolate and it's hazelnut so I will enjoy um, they what they do is they give you an older book um, in the genre that you've ordered it in um, and then they give you some different things and they give you a snack to eat so this is my snack to eat so yeah put that there so next up is nice little green bag but um that's not really me um this box was an uh, irish um theme it says here we've included a tartan brooch so it's a brooch but it's just not me so i will not be wearing that um yeah let's see what else there is there's more bags this here is um this is a shamrock key ring so oh that's quite nice that's quite nice so yeah, did i show you that yeah i did i can't even know what i show you that's quite nice so it's got like a little jewel ball sort of i don't know marbly looking ball and then it's got a silver shamrock um, so 
yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I might put that on my keys, actually. And then there's another little bag. And this is a Celtic knot necklace. So, I do actually like that. If I can, no, you're not gonna best off me. I like that. I do. I do like that. So I'll put that back in there. And then I think it's just the book. So let's get the book out. Yeah, just the book. Um, this book is called Oak and Mistletoe. And um, it had a hair in it. Ooh, it's not like hair. Um, a novel by J. Z. N. Macaulay. Um, it was Irish theme, like I said. So obviously it's set in Ireland. Um, Catherine Green, along with her twin sister and older brother, travels to Ireland on a college graduation. Um, she meets handsome stranger. Um, but she is unaware that she is the key to breaking a hidden curse. So, yeah, so quite cool. So, that's another book. Right, so I've got this Libra box, which was actually sent to me because last month they had to send two lots out. Um, I'd ordered the fantasy and, and also the science fiction box, it says, and neither of them arrived, um, and... Um, so they sent them out a couple of weeks later again um, and then this month I just ordered the fantasy box and that didn't turn up as well so I contacted them and they said that it was something about they hadn't they they got they hadn't paid enough money in their account for the post office or something and so the post office had been holding on to it um, and they said that they would send me um, another box out. Um, whether I'm going to use the for box again, I don't know. I'm not sure. But let's see what this is. So again, it's packaged. Um, this is the surprise box. So we'll see what it is. Um, that's that. So once again, there's um, a sweet treat. Um, this time it's Ritter's Peppermint. I do like peppermint chocolate. I like hazelnut as well, for the matter. There is a, oh, it's a bookmark, but it's a nice bookmark. It's one of those ones that you clip on your page. See how we get this out. We get it out like this. So look, that's it. And then it, you know, you push that down on your page. Um, you know, like this. And it obviously saves your place. So I like, I do like that. I really, really like that. Um. Oh, some watercolour and geometry some sticky notes so that's nice got them upside down they're nice um can always use sticky notes not a hundred percent brilliant but um okay it's a pair of earrings um last month they also sent me the same ones and i don't like them and I don't like these. Um, I've got my ears pierced twice, and these are just too big because they block the other hole. Um, and they just don't look right on me. Um, but I might give these to my daughter. She's only got them pierced once, so I might give these to my daughter. Plus, I do struggle with um, cheaper jewellery. I mean, they sent um, some earrings last month, which was like. Um, Saturn I think it was and star and they made my ears itch 
Whereas these, you know, I've got in that's that's still in that's um stainless steel and that's still in silver, so you know they don't hurt my ears. So last up is the book. And this is the Supreme The Supreme Macaroni Company by Adriana Trigiani, Richard and Judy Book Club bestseller. Um Shoe company um, creates some shoes for a hundred years. Um, needs to turn it into its turn it back to its glories, to its past or something glorious past. Um, she, um, this woman um, gets married and she wakes up to a reality of juggling the demands of a business and the needs of her new family. Something about painful choices, um, romantic and poignant. That doesn't sound my sort of book at all, um, but I think my mum would like that, so I will give that to her sometime. So, yeah. Okay, so last up is my fairy loot box which I love fairy loot, I do, um, I really really love it, so I've also, oh, no, oh wait, yes I have um, thing in the colour tape, so this is what it looks like, it would look like if the lid didn't fall down on, on it, that's what it looks like, so let's put it there, Hopefully it won't fall down. So this is the spoiler card. Um, oh, what's the? This is um, Talk Fairy to Me. So this is the spoiler card this month. I really need to sort my nails out. So what is that? First up, I see a candle. There's nearly always a candle. I've got so many candles. You can see some. I've got some on the top shelf as well. Oh, because it's six shelves. This. Um, I hope it be Bela because I'm tired. Because I'm, we've got kittens and I've heard that they're dangerous to kittens because of the oils in them. So I'm dubious um, about burning them now, but let's smell this. Well, they've got it in a different jar, this, because they usually have it in a tin, but this is a jar. Mmm, it smells nice. I don't know what it is. Let's see, it's a Meraki candle, um, exclusive print card and candle, themed after book of the month. I um, don't know what it smells of. Does it say on the thing? Oh, I can't read what it says. I really need to get the glasses. Leather, clove, oak. Oh, I can't read it. Sorry, I can't read it. Other people will tell you what it is. So small. Really need to buy get glasses. Okay, so lots of paper. So next up, I see a lip seal. So let's see if I can open this. I know that the last lip seal they did. A lot of people had a lot of trouble getting it open. This is fun. Um, whereas, you know, I didn't. Um, I know a lot of people really, really struggled um, with it. It was an avatar one. This says unsealy. So obviously the sealy in the seal, unsealy course. So I assume that's to do with the thingy. I can't get that off. I'll get it later. Let's smell it. Oh. It smells a bit. I don't know what this is supposed to. Nice though. It's um. Ew. Doesn't taste nice. Um. Let's see. Where it is. It's vegan from Geeky Clean. 
um, so Sealy is the light side, Unsealy is the dark side. You should have sent me the light side because I'm like the light side. I am. You can see the purple in my hair a bit then. I'm not certain about that. And I don't know what it smells of. But it's a... I like the Avatar one that was smelled of. Um, I still got it still use it. It smells of mint. I really like that. Not so keen. I mean it's not really offensive but I preferred something a bit nicer. Um, next up is a cushion cover which um, yeah that's nice. It says only you can decide what breaks you. Um, Where's this from? Um, it's designed by Evie Bookish and it's um, a quote from Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Mass. I've not read any of her books yet. Um, I've actually got somewhere, I'm not even certain where they are, but I've got, oh, they're up there. I've got the first three. I've got the um, Court of the Three. Um, I know there's another one coming out later on this year. That's nice. I'll have to get a cover for it. Um, I've already got um, another cushion cover from them. And I've got a, a Hufflepuff cushion as well, which I like. So let's put that there. Wobbly arms. So next up, I see um, some bookmarks. And these bookmarks are... Um, Fair and Rysan from Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy. So these are um, Sarah J Mass as well. So seems to be quite a lot of Sarah J Mass stuff this time, which I don't really mind. Um, these are quite nice. I was I'd actually looked at um, spoilers for this because I was waiting for some time. Um, and I wasn't really that happy about bookmarks because I've got loads now. But these are actually quite big. So, you know, that's quite nice. Um, better than I got some where the wild beasts go or something once. What's in a gave them away because I don't like that thingy. Um, I tried to listen to the film watching the film I didn't get past two minutes because the boy at the beginning um, where the wild ones wild, wild things go I think it is um, the boy at the beginning was screaming his head off and oh, my son's got Asperger's I couldn't cope with it because my son can be like that sometimes and not exactly like that but you know very stressful and stuff so I've got here a adult colouring book um, I think this was done by different artists um, and compiled. Um, when I heard about it, I was like, don't know about this. But actually thinking about it, I can break the spine. <gasps> break the spine, but it's only what's it. And I can actually, I'm going to colour these in. I could actually um, put them on my walls. You know, have a wall that's got these on. Um, there's different things like the Kraken, that's the Kraken, if you can see it, it's a bit faint that one, let's find one that's a bit, nice. a mermaid, can you see that one, um, Yeti, that's quite nice, oh look, Gorgon, so yeah, I quite like that. I'm tired. Right, so, we've got two pictures here. And I'm not sure who they are. I nearly knocked that box on the floor. I would have had to go rooting for it. Let's put that there. These pictures are... Um... Um... Uh, um, two art prints to add to your war, the reversible, 
On one side you'll find beautiful artwork by Diana Walduck of Rowan and Aileen from Throne of Grass by Sarah J Maas. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't actually mind. Um, on the other side you'll find two stunning text illustrations by Stella Bookish Art featuring quotes from the books from books with lots of fairies by Julie Quagga and Cassandra Clare. These prints are also exclusive. So that's um, the print. It's very, very dark. No, uh, I, I, I get it. Nah, nah, that's the other one. But I do prefer these. Oh, they're not the same size, I guess they are. Oh, you're in again. Um, this one says, Do not lose your heart to a fairy prince. It never ends well. Julie Kuaga. Kuaga. I think I've read a book by her book. Maybe. It says, We all tell the truth as we see it. Do we not? Cassandra Clare. I like them too. I do like. I don't like the fronts, but I like the backs. So, lastly, is the book. I'll put that down there. Um, so, let's look what we've got. I also, I know what we've got. So, we have got... The Cool Prince by Holly Black. Um, I don't really know. I know it's like a fairy thing. Um, one terrible mo morning, Jude and her sister see her parents murdered in front of them. First, some assassin abducts all three girls and brings them to the world of fairy. Jude is installed into the royal court, mocked and tormented for being merely mortal. Jude soon realises that to survive in this treacherous, dangerous new world, she needs to be as smart, cunning and deceitful as the fae themselves. So yeah, and something about... Um, the stairway to Paris fought with shadow and betrayal, and looming over all is the infuriating arrogant arrogant and charismatic Prince Cardin, which is the candle, um, Jude must take utmost care. So, let's see what it looks like inside. I have seen that Owl Crate box had the same book this time. And theirs was real. I didn't like the actual cover, but I like the inside cover, but this is just plain with, um, right, and this is the UK cover. Um, I think this is also the US cover, but um, I think is it, I think it was Barnes and Noble did um, a black one which I really like more than this. But that's okay. So let me see what else is in here. There's the, um, the fairy scoop which says um, some book. It all says some books. So Court of Thorns and Roses. Surprise, surprise. Tithe by Holly Black and The Iron King by Julie Coagua and I think I have read The Iron King. There's a letter from the author. This is more stuff, the fairy script itself is more stuff about the author and um, about the book and everything. And it also says that it's next month's theme is Twisted Tales and it's got like Red Riding Hood on the front on the thing, so yeah, we'll see. Um, there is a, another print, and I'm not sure who this is, but the chances are it seems to be to do with Sarah J. Mass. Um, doesn't say. There was another print there. I don't know who that is. They don't say on the back. And another, oh no, I've got um, Holly Black's a book plate of Holly Black's. I've got this month's bookmark. And lastly, but not least, because maybe I'll find you, maybe, and then we could read the book together. Uh, my fairy loot number is hashtag fairy loot 126488 
to that. So that is all done and I'm going to go to bed and I will sort this out tomorrow. Um, I really like, I actually quite like the sound of that first book, the one that's a giveaway. I'm not totally certain about the Cruel Prince, but, you know, we'll see. Definitely don't think I want this one. Um, I might read this one or I might give it away. I'm not sure. But, yes, so I need to move some of this stuff out of the way. So this stuff so that I can turn this off. So, um, yeah. I, at the moment, I'm reading um, a book called The Fifth Season by J.K., I think it is, Jemison. Um, and I intend to do a review once I've finished it, um, based around uh, creative writing techniques. So, yeah. Okay. Bye.